Hello YouTube, this is IDCO once again, and this time with a special uh, video, more like a part 2 to a video that I've already made, which was the Dazzle DVD Recorder Plus setup and best rendering settings. This is more like a part 2. This is going to be the Sony Vegas part. This is how I get my video to look as, as good as it looks, really. So what you're going to want to do, first thing is open up Sony Vegas. This is continuing off from my last setup video for the Dazzle uh, DVD Recorder Plus. This is how you're going to get your video to look good in HD. Now I've upgraded to a new device called the Aver TV DVR HD Recorder and it's, it's phenomenal. Now I've taken nothing from the Dazzle but I had to upgrade from standard def to actual high def. So what I did was I manipulated you know the standard definition that the Dazzle DVC 100 or the Dazzle DVD Recorder Plus has. I manipulated that into HD but it may have worked for a while but I had to you know get the full fledged upgrade. But first you're gonna wanna open up Sony Vegas Pro okay now that Vegas is open up the next thing you're going to want to do is start a new project now when you start your new project make sure that you set your template from NTSC DV to HDV 72030 this is going to this is what's really going to show your high def on the preview side you want to go to pixel format and that's 8 bit make sure it's 8 bit full resolution rendering quality make sure that's set to best that there, that's done. Click OK. Now you grab your video, whatever it may be, the video you recorded from your Dazzle, and you come and drag it down here. Now that that's dragged, let me blow this up a little bit. Now that that's dragged, what you're going to want to do is sometime the video is going to have a little turbulence at the bottom of the at the bottom of its video, which would be right here in this area. So you're going to want to go to crop. And if you see any throughout the video, it'll probably pop up here and then. Just bring that up just a little bit. Just so you can cut that out. That's done. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to tweak it a little bit. So what I can do is I go right here to event effects. Or you can right click and go to video event effects. And then for my videos, I use Sony Sharpen. Brightness and Contrast and color correction these are just tiny tweaks tiny tweaks so, so for sharpen I increase that to about 0 0.010 really just slightly increase it. not much at all and then I go to brightness and contracts I bring my brightness up just a little bit so you can get a clear thing of everything that's going on in the video and then the contrast Bring that down a little bit. And then contrast center, keep that right there. Now my brightness is set to 0 0.04, contrast ne negative 0 0.07. Color correction. Now color correction already has set itself. Whatever its default is, you keep it that way. That's the end of that. Now, after you've done that, do your whole video, edit it, put your intro, outro, whatever you want in it. You go right here in the file and then to render as. Now that that's loaded up, what you're going to want to do, you're going to go right here to save as type. Make sure it's set to main concept MPEG2. This is going to render it as an M2V file. No, M2T file, I mean. And that's full fledged HD. And make sure your template is set to HDV 720 30p. Now you go here, right there, and right next to it to custom. Hit custom, video rendering quality, set that to best. You go here in the video. Now, you have the choice, you can set your frame rate to 30. For Dazzle videos, I keep it at 29, just so it won't have no tug and pull. Basically, now you go to main, 
I mean profile, and you change that to high. And then you go to level right next to it and change that to high 1440. Video quality can be increased. This is judging on whether you want to wait a while for your rendering. Sometimes for Dazzle videos, I keep it right in the middle. But if you want to increase it to try to get the maximum, you can if you want. I increased mine to a moderate of maybe 22. Now, that's basically all you need to worry about. Everything else is pretty much set for you. And then you click, click OK. I would say that as a template. So you won't have to constantly go back and keep changing the settings to that. Now, of course, you go here and you title it whatever you want. There you go. And you save. Now, I'm not going to click save because I've already done this. But it will render out. Now for judging off of like a 7 minute video, it should take no longer than an hour and 30 minutes to render out fully. 10 minute video, you know, hour 45 minutes, so on and so forth. So watch this video, show you how to do it, and please subscribe to my channel. This is IDCL, and I'm out. Peace.